Hello. Um, long time no video. Uh, I've been moving. Um, haven't had a lot of time to do anything. So, um, last few days I've been back doing my carving and thought I'd make a video. Um, so here's one of my new ones that um, is for a four by six card. Um, originally, I started it and I slipped because my tools weren't sharp and I nicked it and uh, I don't remember where it was but I had so I had to redo the design with what I had left I had already started I think I was up to like here and I cut something over here or something I don't know but I had a lot of this left so I just redid it uh, anyway perfect example of number one how to keep your tools sharp that's a big deal and the other thing is to um, you know be careful and you know you can always save it um, another thing is I got new tools here's my old ones I've had the speedball I don't know if this is speedball but it's an older one I bought off of eBay and um, I usually have my number one or my number two in here um, for a quick grab you know um, and these work fine um, I, I like that I can take these out and put a new one in once you know these get too dull but you can also sharpen these um, I don't know if you can sharpen them but I, I bought a new product that I wanted to uh, show you guys it's called the uh, flex I think it's flex cut yeah flex cut slip strop and um, basically it has you know different shapes for each of your different tools you know the number one and so on um, the curved and the triangle or whatever uh, or the V and then on the back it's got and this is for the inside and this is for the outside and um, basically just you know put some slip strop and you can buy this separate and you just drag it along and what this does it doesn't sharpen it but it keeps it it keeps the blade um, what okay like when you sharpen your blades um, the tip here gets a bunch of jagged edges and um, on this one actually because it's a new tool and I and I haven't sharpened it and it's a cheaper version by the way there's like a whole set I got these off of uh, not eBay um, Amazon and I think it was like 20 bucks or something it wasn't terribly expensive um, and they have really expensive ones um, but this is the mini set not you know it's for wood carving and linoleum um, alike but um, you know I don't see how a wood carver would use these for their I don't know maybe they will but anyway um, you basically drag it and what that does is it in it it bends off all of the little microscopic shards on it and then you drag it over here or this side you know if you choose and you can actually see the middle coming off but um, and here's for the inside and um, that's basically uh, and it does make a difference uh, I wasn't sure it was going to I thought there was a lot of hype over it but um, it really really does work it's not like I said it's not for sharpening but it is to uh, prolong the sharpen or the the sharp blade um, let's see what else um, gosh now I'm drawing a blank that's really all I had so far um, things that I've learned um, I still I still use the plastic mat thing it really does make it not slide you have better control of it um, I do by the way like these tools better than these tools because these tools are kind of awkward you know to hold or whatever you don't know how you're gonna hold it um, these are just for the palm and you put your finger here and there's better control and I always have like my pinky on the side or whatever and I have it like grounded somewhere you know I'm doing here and it gives you more 
control of the blade and um, if you're a beginner I highly recommend that you try both and you'll probably find that these are more comfortable you know if you've been doing it for a while and, and you're used to using these it's I mean it's it's really just a preference there's you know there's no better tool um, but uh, you really do I've the what I've learned um, in the time that I have been carving is that um, they really really do need to be sharp that is the number one thing that I've learned um, I, I have I don't know if you can even see them but um, there's all kinds of nicks in here and that's from my blade slipping because I didn't have good enough control over it and I didn't it wasn't sharp enough and when you start seeing that you're sh you are um, slipping more because it's gonna happen everybody slips even the pros slip but um, sharpen your blade or you know hone it a bit with your slip strop and um, or your strop whatever it's called I don't know um, I, I actually also got this off of um, Amazon I find a lot of stuff on Amazon for wood carving specifically not so much block carving although they do have stuff on there for block carving um, I just like Amazon they have good policies and you know anytime I've had a problem they've always just the customer service is outstanding I really really love Amazon but um, anyway um, for the beginners make sure you have your blade is always sharp um, and you you will find you know the difference is night and day and um, if you can't afford these these tools just stock up on these on these blades they're only a few bucks a pack and you get like three or four um, I don't know if they have them in single packs I don't know I don't I live out in the country and I don't know if I mentioned but I was moving and that's why I haven't been able to uh, do a lot of art and carving and such um, so uh, anyway I moved into the same town but I actually moved in town and instead of being out in the uh, rural area but um, anyway point being that I don't have a lot of I literally have to go to the state of Arkansas instead of Oklahoma because I'm closer to the Oklahoma border than you know like Tulsa I live in the Tulsa area but the rural part of Oklahoma and um, so Tulsa and Joplin are the closest to me and I usually either have to go to uh, Joplin or uh, to go to like uh, Hobby Lobby is 40 minutes from me in Arkansas so I my my shopping is limited and uh, I do a lot online and my dad um, who's also into wood carving he um, he buys a lot of my stuff because you know I'm spoiled but um <laughs> and he loves me uh, anyway what was my point I don't even remember Ooh. hi camera so anyway I'm totally doing this in my living room <laughs> that's what I like about this you can just do it wherever you want so um basically what I've learned uh, in the last you know few months I haven't been doing anything is um, sharp tools and um, you know spring for the if you can afford to spring for the little more expensive tools and um, you'll see a big difference these also I haven't sharpened these once and I've had them I've probably used them I don't know 10 or 15 times since I've had them and they feel still brand new you know whereas these you know they don't last that long especially if you're doing a bigger project they just don't um, now granted I haven't done a bigger project with these but um, anyway keep control of your work of your hands slower is better especially like here you know I'm getting close and I, and I know it's gonna slip so you just be more careful <clears throat> slower and uh, oh an uh, other thing I wanted to mention is there is a product on YouTube um, I don't know if any of you have tried gel mono printing on gelatin 
Um, I have not yet. Um, I keep meaning to, but again, I moved and I just haven't had any time to do it. Literally, no time. And I'm working also, um, which is new. When I started this video, I was not working. So, um, anyway, it's called, let's see if I can remember the name of it. Um, you know what? I will do a separate video on that, on gelatin printing, but, uh, search for um, gelatin monoprint printing um, and you'll see it's a product where it's it's actually you can make your own oh, let's see you can make your own printing plate with um, just plain unflavored gelatin that you can buy it's like two bucks or something and you can make it as big or as small as you want and um, and you use watercolors or you can use acrylic paint and um, it's really fun and I, I'm you know maybe I'll do that with my kids um, it's kid friendly anyway they have a plate that you reuse so you don't have to spend the time making it and then you have to you know refrigerate it and you know on the upside it is you can just trash it when you're done you don't have to clean it up or anything like that but you can use it for a few days there's a uh, one artist that um, I wish I knew her name offhand, but she um, lets it mold over and it just puts texture on her on her prints. And they're actually it's it's really cool looking. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do a uh, video on that because I'm just fascinated by mono prints. And uh, anyway, so look it up. And uh, if anybody's used that product, I'd really like to hear your um, your opinions on it or have done mono printing and whoops can give me some tips that would be awesome so um anyway keep the art going and you know comment below and let me know what you guys want to see or if you have any suggestions or anything like that I'm I'm completely open I'm you know I'm still learning as I go and I thought I'd teach you guys as I learn for the newbies out there looking for more information there's not a whole lot out there uh, instruction wise um, not layman instruction wise anyway there's you know I, I just really want to appeal to the beginners but um, so there you go uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and